Welcome, my name's Rich Buley with Proforma. Thank you for visiting our page. Today, I wanna to talk to you about PPC. I wanna to talk to you about PPC as it relates to the business to business space. And I know how daunting and scary the conversations can be. If you've ever been presented uh, uh, what we call a pay-per-click advertisement with Google before, um, either A, you were concerned that it was more retail and it was more consumer driven. You were told that you just had to take a, a risk. You had to hope that um, whatever it was you were doing, it, however much money you were advertising, that um, that it would show return and you would get data throughout the process that would help you feel a little more comfortable. But it was a big leap. It was a big gamble. Um, and then if they don't, if, if, if the sales process and your ideal customer aren't fully understood, then you got to go through this whole process of testing and, and trying to, you know, you're basically spending money without knowing if there's going to be a return. And as a business owner, all those thoughts, all those propositions can be super scary if they're not explained properly. And today I want to show you how to decide on your own, whether your PPC campaigns are performing the way they should now, or if you're starting to look for new ways to fill your pipeline, if the cold calling and emailing and, um, direct mail potentially isn't working for you, or you're looking for a new way to augment a pipeline that will help you to get higher quality leads. That's the whole point of today. I want to help you through all that in a couple of short minutes. So I'm going to switch the screen and go right into the tools to show you what to do and, and how to do that. And um, again, my goal today is helping you understand all those details. And at the end, if you want to start a PPC campaign, and you want to test a PPC campaign or look at what is that potential worth to you, you'll know how to do it from this video. And if you want additional help, I'd love to, to be there alongside you. So here we go. So this is a Google Ads keyword planner. This is available to anybody. All you have to do is go to Google and sign up for one. And I'm going to go one step back so you can see um, that where I'm supposed to be. Okay, this is your main screen. Here it goes. Find keywords and get search volume forecasts. That's what we're going to look at today. And I'm going to use an example of a customer, a great customer of ours. Um, it's a aviation company focused on helping corporate pilots and company planes have their ADSB equipment upgraded by 2020. It has to happen. Um, so it's a very, very big order. It's going to be $40,000 plus to get all that new equipment installed, the whole nine yards. So it's a very big opportunity. Uh, so first off, I want to talk about what is... PPC. In case uh, you're not 100% familiar on what I mean when I say that, here's some examples of pay-per-click. Here's Google. Somebody searched ADSB. That's what they're concerned about. Here's uh, Sporty's Pilot Shop. Sporty's Pilot Shop. It's all Sporty's this time. They're just different. Here's Garmin, Stratus, and ForeFlight. They're different units that can be used in upgrading your, your aircraft's ADSB. Then you have th two links below. And here's Rockwell and here's Butler Avionics. And these are what you would consider PPC. These are the pay per click. And then once you get into here, this is organic rankings. And I want to make a very, very quick point that the tools and information that I'm showing you now has nothing to do with SEO. In fact, this calculation is not good. It's inaccurate completely when it comes to SEO. But for PPC, this is where uh, this information in this video will be helpful to you. So by looking at ADSB, uh, here's the ADSB keyword. I've learned that there are 72,000 impressions, so 72,000 searches on Google, and they have a 2.1% of the people on Google actually click one of those ads. And so to run a campaign to, to have that many impressions, to be in front of that many searches and getting a 2.1% click through, it's going to cost me 34000 I want to go back to show you, having your ad here doesn't cost anything with Google. It's not until the ad is clicked. That it becomes a uh, that it becomes a cost in your campaign. So that's where the three point four thousand cost comes in. Seventy two thousand people saw your ad. Now you're developing credibility and authority in the marketplace. Two point one percent or one point five thousand of that seventy two k clicked, and they went to a special landing page, a website, uh, an asset from you. Which, by the way, I just want to make sure you hear this loud and clear. Driving them to your main homepage is not the route to go. You want to laser focus on driving them to a specific landing page that has a direct call to action and can, can service that searcher and their intent. Think about what is that person searching? What do they want? And how do I give them exactly what they want to help them? You want to make sure that landing, that landing page is critical to success. 
But now I'm going to go to add conversion metrics. So if you have a current Google PPC campaign running, you can look at your conversion rates to see how many people go from the landing page to sharing information, buying, whatever that next step is in the sales cycle. You can see that. If you are someone who's not yet tried PPC before, there's a wonderful tool by WordStream that I really like. Um, I'm going to put this in the bottom of the post as well. This is an average by industry, and this is what your click or this is what your conversion rate is via SEO, so so organic search. And you can see it's far greater than PPC, but you can still see in your industry. So we'll go B two B for uh, conversion rate on Google Display Network. It's at a 080 percent. So I'm going to come back here, and for this, it goes 0.80. And then for a value per conversion, this is great. The overall average uh, sale of an ADSB, an ADSB reinstall or an upgrade is going to net somewhere around forty thousand dollars in in revenue. So when we click save here, now you're going to see the overall information now on the campaign. So I want to go back to this just so you see it. You got one thousand four hundred ninety four people that clicked your ad out of the 72,000. So that's a 2.1% click through rate. Now, if you have that 0.80, which it's not show oh, right here, 0.80, meaning um, less than 1% clicked your display on your landing page, they clicked it and they entered in the information that said, get me a quote, I'm interested in a quote, or I'm interested in uh, learning more, whatever that next step is, that's what's considered a conversion. So for 12 conversions, you have a $480,000 return on invest or a $480,000 conversion value. If each conversion is $40,000 times 12, that's your total return. So if you spend a total of 3.4,000 and you got a $480,000 opportunity, that's the first question to ask yourself, would you pay 3.4,000 for that conversion opportunity, whatever that is for you. And then out of those out of those 12 conversions, how many will actually turn into customers for you? So if they've said, I would like a quote, they said, I'd like to talk more, what is your salespeople's winning average? And then you can truly determine your overall cost or your overall return on investment potential and cost of the lead itself. So I hope you found that to be helpful. I did want to show you one more time here what the display ads look like, just so you have a general idea in this example. I also want to show you another tool called Google Trends. This is great just to show you here search frequency per month on ADSB. So here's the interest over time. You can see that it's fairly consistent, but some in the middle of uh, July, it became stronger. Could that be an industry thing? Could that be a notice from the uh, from the government. I mean, there's a bunch of different way, pieces of data that you want to have here, but this shows you, can you count on these numbers month in, month out as a, as a supplement to your campaign? Google Trends will show you what you can count on and what that search frequency looks like. And also you'll see additional keywords that you can take advantage of. So in this case, it's antenna, requirements, exchange, Here's a great additional set of keywords that you could either focus on from an SEO perspective, an organic search perspective, or further in PPC. So I'm gonna, again, gonna leave this here for you. I'm gonna put this in the post. I'm also gonna um, uh, sh share this video inside the post so you have both. I hope you found today to be helpful. And if you did, great. If you if if you like those return on investments, anybody would based on those numbers. It's critical to understand what is the opportunity value per deal. So what is your average sale size? What's your winning rate from your customer from your salespeople? What are you seeing? And then can that justify on average a 150 to 400 percent return on investment? That's our goal at the end of the day. We want to help you sell 400 percent more than what you've spent in advertising for PPC and then even greater returns in SEO. Uh, and we can talk about other platforms later, but right now in the search side, SEO and PPC are the two greatest. I will be talking more about SEO later, but I hope you found today to be helpful. If you have any questions, comments, I uh, would love for you to subscribe, share. And again, if there's anything we can do to be of, of service and assistance to you, please don't hesitate to let me know. And uh, looking forward to talking with you soon. Thanks.